just got back from hunting thicket. Shopping bags, PD5, bitches. Filters call, got a pickup thickens. Look at me, I'm a geek, tripping. Future waves, I will be copping. Come check with me, you know why I got it. Figure what, small from legends. Dudes doing them reviews, fella. What's going on? It's your boy, that was do. And you know why I got it, so subscribe. Let's go, Bubba. What's going on? It's your boy that was do today. We're doing another action figure review. Today we bring you a Hasbro Legend Series X-Men Build a Figure Juggernaut Wolverine figure. Big shout out to Big Bad Toy Store. Got this from them. They shipped it out pretty quick. Happy to get it because now a lot of people gotta wait till August. But these guys are actually hitting retail right now. So go check your local Walgreens. Go check your Toys R Us's. Go check your Targets. They might be there. And you can't miss this wave. Now, before I get into this toy, this figure, this masterpiece, I want to take a look at the packaging. And as you can see here, we have the standard Marvel Legends series. Packaging, big window front, new X-Men logo on the front, got Wolverine on the bottom banner, X insignia on the top, nice image of Wolverine on the sides, looking dope, ski. Then you got him in the back, the whole wave right here is a must have. Then you got my man right here looking kind of dope, Jim Lee inspiration. Then, want to read the bio. Pause it now, but I'm going to read it anyway. Virtually indestructible and always ready for a fight. Wolverine's speciality is sending bad guys running. He's the best at what he I'm the best at what I do. Bub. Man, this figure right here is a masterpiece. You guys do not understand. Finally... Now, look, I'm not going to lie to you. The previous release Wolverines weren't that bad. The ones that sucked a lot was Series 3. I didn't like I didn't like Stealth Wolverine from X-Men Classics. Ninja Wolverine was pretty cool. Um, Age of Apocalypse. No, Ultimate Wolverine sucked. The Blob Wave. Uh, who else? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Weapon X was cool. Yeah, that's it. Oh, the two-pack Wolverine was horrible. The one that came with Forge. And, um, again, the Blob Wave Wolverine. I'm trying to think. Oh, Astonishing Wolverine wasn't all that. The one, the Apocalypse Wave. I didn't like that one that much. Um, what else? And that's it. Everything else is pretty solid. I like that. But this is purely accurate. This Wolverine is height accurate, size accurate, whatever you want to call it, accurate. He's sexy as hell. I want like 10 more of these. I need I need 10 more of these. I want to repaint. I don't want to wait for them to be released in the other colors. I want to make them myself. I like the Hasbro face sculpt still, but this one's pretty cool. I love the Jim Lee inspiration. This figure omits i'm so happy for it i don't have much complaints about this figure i only have about two and they're minor so we're gonna get into it right now with this figure you can see the posability is fun this is him getting ready to do weapon x and marvel versus capcom or marvel superheroes let's go bub <laughs> man i love this figure oh yeah yeah i want to eat it Love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, my only complaints about this figure, and I can't understand why they did it. Why are these clothes still removable? If he comes with interchangeable hands, why make the clothes removable? I don't get it. I just don't get it. And because of that, some of these claws are a little loopy. The spacing between them isn't right. They look off. And um, it that it kind of bothers me. It's like the the claws, when it comes to the Wolverine figures, have always been an issue. 
and then they kind of remedied it, remedied it, remedied it with this, with these, with this um, design. But now, look, why make these things come out if you, he comes with interchangeable hands? Now, because of that, you run a risk of getting warped claws, and it doesn't look right. You can see right here, right here on that right hand. You see it? It looks funny. He got look like he got a hang now. The left hand is perfect. Some some slight warping, but nothing major like on the other hand. Now, my second complaint is the hands pop out very easy. These hands pop out too easy. I don't want to burn. I don't want to burn them because the the nubs on these are so short that I might mess it up. Because what I normally do when there's a problem and um, the interchangeable hands don't fit well, and if this is long enough, the nub, if it's like that long, like the Iron Fist hands, I burn them. I hold them up, I burn them, and I let the plastic accumulate into a nice size ball, and I stop it. Then I quickly dip it in water to lighten it up, and then it usually fits perfectly. And I'll show you... What I mean, because I I did it with Electro, the new Spider-Man Electro. I'll show you what I mean real quick. These are Iron Man hands. I mean Iron Fist hands. They fit perfect. But the, this other fist right here, I was I used it for another figure and it didn't fit. So this is what I did. I burned it. I burned it to the point where I needed it to fit in the hand and it came out pretty good I burned it a little too much so now it's short and it tends to pop out pretty easy because it's shortened but it fits perfect now for Electro so now Electro has interchangeable hands so that was, that's what I don't want to do with this figure I don't want to risk messing it up which is why I want maybe like again 10 more of these guys I want more of them so I can try to run um, the risk of doing that with, with these particular set of hands. That's it. Um, but other than that, it's fine. Uh, the only accessories you come with are these clawless hands, which are awesome. I love them. It came out really good. It came out very good. Look at them. The metal beads right there on the gloves, both sides. Looks real cool. I'm happy for that. And um, the same goes for these his regular hands. They have them also, which is what I'm saying. Like, if you can remove the clothes, then what was, what was the point? The beads are there. They're perfect. You could have just did that. You could have given them other hands, like open hand, maybe, or something like that. But anyway, I like it. I like his short stockiness. I love this new sculpt. Very nice looking. As we know, the, the normal Wolverine releases had a diaphragm joint. This one has finally we get an ab crunch with Wolverine instead of having a diaphragm joint. His diaphragm was actually cut off at the same place where the, the ab crunch comes from. So it's fine. And um He has butterfly joints also. I love the new arms. Nice nice bulky muscular arm I wish they put some um, hair on him because you know Jim Lee used to accentuate that ha that hair he used to show it looks real nice though man I really dig in this man brown and yellow now we need brown and orange oh. I'm gonna kill you Bubba it looks awesome man I'm just no, I'm recording and it's up to like eight and a half minutes and I'm just talking about how awesome this looks. Sexy, man. Finally, a beautifully well done classic Wolverine. His articulation is awesome. His head looks up a great deal. Looks down, side to side. A little bit of pivoting action. He, again, he has a butterfly joint, ball hand shoulder, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, he has a wrist swivel and a wrist hinge, so it goes up and down. Beautiful ab crunch, forward and back, waist swivel. And kicks up that high. Upper thigh cut swivel, double jointed knees, boot rotation, ankle pivots back, forward, and he has an ankle rocker. Yo. <laughs> Again, there's no need for me to, 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 to talk about how dope this Wolverine figure is. 
This figure is top notch, man. I'm so happy to finally have a dope Wolverine figure. And don't 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 get me wrong, man. I really thought the Toy Biz figures were the 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 standard bearer, but now Hasbro, I tip my hat off to you, man. You did the damn thing with this figure. I'm so happy with him. I can't wait for all his other future releases. I hope you guys. I don't care what anybody says. I hope you redo him in all his classic his classic uniforms. I could, I'm okay with the with the Puck Wave and the Jubilee Wave ones being the, the size they are because they did kind of um, they kind of made them bigger in the in more recent times. So I'm cool with it. So that's the review on this bad boy. Hit the like button if you're feeling it. Leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't. Like my Facebook page, follow my Instagram and Twitter. You already know it's your boy Devils Do. Get like 30 of these guys. I wish they were doing the case assignment of eight like they did with Nick Fury and Black Panther. Cause I would have skipped I would have definitely scooped this up. In a, in a, without any question. Just highlight your boy. That's your boy that was due. And I'm out. One. Rookie.